nearly 800,000 children are reported missing, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. It is every parent's greatest fear that your child could be taken. So tonight, investigator Bill Spencer teams up with a veteran security expert to teach you exactly what you need to teach your children how to escape a child abduction. Our children, happily flying one minute, they can be taken in an instant. I'll show you something. Come with me real quick. I was really afraid to die. It happened to Angelie Oviedo. She was chasing this chicken outside her home in Montgomery when a man drove up beside her, pulled her into the car, and sped away. But somehow Angelie did everything right. She got out of the car as quickly as she could and ran for it. When he stopped uh, driving, I got out of the car and then started running into the forest until I found a road that I knew. Now, using both child and adult actors and working with Jim Napolitano, Montgomery police chief and former Secret Service agent, we're about to show you exactly what you need to teach your children to survive four different abductions. Hey, what's your name? Hey, I'm going to show you something real quick. Can I come see this real quick? Scenario one, the predator approaches a child at the playground. There are others around, but the predator snatches the child quickly. Let me go! Let me go! What to do? Scream as loud as you can to attract parents' attention and fight hard. Fight. Fight with everything that they have to get away from this person. Hey, let's go check this out. Scenario two, the child enters an empty house with no one around. What are you doing here? Come here. No, let go. Come here. Let go. Ah. The key here is to get away using the most powerful weapon a child has, their teeth. The human bite is, is by far one of the most devastating things that can happen to you. Ah. What to do? Fight, bite, flee. Scenario three, children walking home from the bus stop. Bye guys, see you tomorrow at school. And a predator is waiting. <laughs> Here, people are nearby, so the key is to attract attention. Scream really loud, yell, do whatever you have to do to get those parents' attention that you were just with when you got off the bus. <laughs> I found this dog. And scenario four, a predator trying to lure a child into a vehicle. Come here, come look at it. <laughs> what to do? Get out at your first opportunity. Find the door handle, get out, and run. Once that predator is away from them and moves to come around the other side of the car or doesn't hold on to them, get out. <laughs> The key to this escape, moving fast, which is just what little Angelie did. She got away without a scratch and has this advice for other children. Or tell them to never give up and keep on trying to stay alive. As you can see, all of these scenarios involve one thing, and that is screaming, and that is something you're going to have to practice with your kids, experts say. It doesn't come that natural for them, so create a competition between your children as to who can scream the loudest. Work on it. It could save their lives. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 Investigates. Great conversation.